what is going on people <laughs> looking like a damn i don't know what but this shit right here i'm seriously about to take a pair of scissors just bloop, off with that motherfucker Woo! so <laughs> yeah i'm at a rest area i'm parked until um later tomorrow evening um just had a very interesting uh encounter with a um, with a person that was under the influence and he wanted to talk about um, he wanted to talk about Trump and politics and uh, Trump is going to save us and he wanted to talk about the rioters and how he thought that it was dumb what they were doing, which, you know how I feel about that. I've made videos, and if you don't, and if you haven't watched them, go back and watch the videos I have made on it. Um, I think it's idiotic, and I think the people are rioting for the complete wrong reasons. Um, they do not care about um, equality. They care about themselves. They care about what the system uh, owes them. And I'm telling you right now, I'm in, I, I, I feel the same way. The system, the government owes its people money. We are not only in debt to China as a country, but as a country, a governmental entity that is our government. Um, they owe us money because they, we have been taxed for a census from the day I've been born. Your birth certificate is a contract for future debt because without birth certificates and without new life being born into this country, um, they would be dead in the water because they would have no new tax revenue to support all of their multi-lettered agencies that are supposed to do one thing but spend our money that we pay them to do completely opposite things um this is a rant video uh like i said this is this is gonna be this is gonna be some true talk episode two okay uh one thing that i want to get perfectly clear is the guy the gentleman that i talked to today just now about 15 minutes ago um that is uh, that is the stereotype that people are linking certain supporters to and um there are those people out there i mean they're out there in every race there are people like that that normal people from that race don't want to be associated with and don't want to have anything to do with because they make the rest of them look bad and i'm sorry but i mean i've cut people out of my life because they wanted to keep doing dumb shit and acting in a dumb way in a stupid way and i don't want to be a part of that i want to elevate my life to a higher position like I want to be happier I want to you know be able to make a decent living and you know without the aid of doing illegal shit or dumb shit um, I'm not going to go to jail just because somebody gets a wild hair up their ass and wants to you know steal a bunch of shit out of the store sorry that's not me um, and if that makes me less of a man then so be it but I do not want to be associated with that type of person I don't want to be associated with the type of person that gets drunk off their ass and goes and drives their car across the state, you know, state lines, um, which obviously this, this guy was doing because he is from Oklahoma and I am in North Carolina. Um, that kind of person makes all of the human race look bad. Like, um, everybody knows it is dangerous and not safe to drive drunk. That is, um common sense I mean but you know what they say about common sense common sense ain't so common anymore oh man please Jesus help me
I'm telling you, the stupidity, the, 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 the ignorance of some people that exist on this planet astounds me. I mean, it just, it astounds me. And, um, you know, I've done a lot of dumb shit. I have done a lot of dumb shit. And I'm probably going to do some more dumb shit before I die. But, I do not put doing dumb shit before everything else. I don't put, you know, a, a liquor bottle in front of paying my bills. I don't put um, other habits that I may or may not have in front of paying my bills. Um, I am drug free and have been for years. Um, and when I say drug free, pot. Pot. That's, that's it. That's, that's the extent of it. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's not that I feel like pot should be illegal or pot's bad, but I just got to a point in my life where I needed to stop doing that and give that habit up so I could better my life and better my situation in life. And, you know, who knows, you know, when I retire, you know, <laughs> when I retire, there ain't no telling what I might do. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to be buying the biggest Ziploc baggies ever made. <laughs> Maybe, and maybe by then it's going to be legal all the way around. Um, and fun fact that I never knew, I just found out yesterday, um, in North Korea, pot is, like, legal. It's, it's, nothing is said about it. Nothing is, uh, it, I mean, you could be walking down the road smoking a joint and no cops are going to hassle you or nothing. But they hassle you if you have a haircut that they don't approve of. I think men get like 10 different hairstyles that they can choose from. And women get like, I think 13. Yeah. 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 That's, uh... That's crazy. That's crazy. But, you know, I mean... We only get what we see, like what we what we are allowed to get. Like the information that we get on other countries are, you know, it's all hearsay until, you know, we go there or we meet somebody from there. Um, it's all hearsay. Otherwise, I mean, and this is no way am I supporting North Korea and their fucking crazy nuclear talk. That's fucking crazy. Do you know how crazy it is? To threaten nuclear war? Because you're not only destroying the country that you're, you know, blowing up, but you're also destroying you. Why? Why would anybody ever be like, yo, I'm about to press the button, bro. Like, okay, that would be like me having somebody that was, you know, pointing... A gun at me and I have a sidearm that is holstered and I'm like you know I'm going to reach for my gun now and I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to shoot you about the time that I go do this and I touch it they're gonna blow my face off it's the same concept I mean even if he got a successful attack through our defenses do you know it, there wouldn't be anything there. It would be ocean. There would be, there would be no North Korea. It would, where South Korea ends, it would be like a cliff into the ocean. Okay, that would, that would, that is where that's that's yeah. We have probably more nuclear warheads than they have land there. Okay, if we put all of our nuclear warheads just in rows. It would probably take up all of their fucking country. I don't know if that's true or not, but in my mind, I, you know, I feel like that's correct. I don't know if it is, 
but it feels right. I do know that if we have enough to wipe them off the face of the earth, there wouldn't be... Sorry, that's my GPS. It talks. Whenever I'm parked, it, it talks to me because it doesn't comprehend that I have shut down for the day. Um, but yeah, I don't understand why anybody would do that. Uh, that's just like, you know, Russia, you know, boasting about their nuclear whatever or new bombs or whatever. It's like, people, like, why? And, you know, I used to be, when I was in high school, I used to be pro-military. And, you know, I'm, I still think it's, you know, courageous that people go and do that job. And, and, you know, they volunteer to do it. But I used to be, I used to want to be in the Marines, okay? But I dropped out of school, didn't get my high school diploma. I couldn't do it. Um... They wouldn't allow. They wouldn't accept me. Um, but I did go and try to enlist, and that disqualified me um, because apparently you have to know, you know, geometry. I don't know it, school, and that's another thing. Let's talk about school for a minute. Let's talk about this shit, okay? And I'm, I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell you about personal stories, okay? I'm not just gonna hypothesize made up fictional events okay um when i was in high school i always thought okay i always thought from a very young age i could see that we are not really free okay nothing is free we we say we have freedom but yet we get a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. we say we have freedom but yet we get, uh, you know, intoxicated in public if we're just walking and we're over the legal limit, okay? Um, jaywalking. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm a human being and, you know, I have, you know, what's inside of here called a brain. And I can look and see if there's cars coming. Okay? I, 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 I don't want to die. So, if there's a car coming, I'm going to wait. Now, I know, look, I know there's some idiots out there that all they do is stuff their nose right in their phone and they just walk out in front of traffic and get hit. And, you know, all I'm saying, bro, is natural selection. Uh, I'm sorry. I have a phone and I don't do that. <laughs> I mean, come on, people. We we get the treatment that we deserve that we ask for that we want and you know it, it's not the few that changes things okay it's the many or no i got that backwards I, it's late it's late it's like one two o'clock in the morning give me some credit i've been driving for 11 hours today chill out i've got the words it is the few that dictates the rules set for the many, okay? And I'm a little bit amped right now because either side of politics, whatever aisle you land on is bullshit. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican, if you're a Democrat, if you're independent if you're libertarian it doesn't fucking matter what matters is that they have an agenda no matter who is in the office of presidency who is in the office of the you know who's senator who's who's blah 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 they all have agendas and most of the time they have backdoor agreements with you know lobbyists that they have to push because they accepted money to push it. Okay? And I'm not claiming to be an expert by any means. That's really, that's really annoying me. Pause for a second. Sorry about my armpit being right in the way of, uh, of the people of YouTube. Um, yeah, okay. I just turned, I just exited off my route because that's the only way that will shut up and let me do this video. Um, now, no. Back to what I was saying. Rant time. Rant, video, completely through, maybe some breaks, okay? 
It's bullshit. It's smoke and mirrors. It's a circus show. It, what they're telling us in public and what they're conveying to us is all bullshit. It's to quell the masses. When behind the scenes, they're doing shit behind closed doors. And they don't give a fuck about if we agree with it or not. They're going to do what they want to do. Whether me and you or anybody else has anything to say about it, okay? And that is a issue. I'm sorry, but it should be, it should have been written in the Constitution that the U.S. government has to be completely 100% transparent in their dealings with any outside foreign land or however they, they worded that back then, okay? International, England, whatever. They have to be completely transparent. That should have been in the Constitution. Maybe it is. I haven't read the whole thing, but I've made it. I made it pretty far. I am working on it. Um, I actually have an app on my phone that I can read it, and uh, it'll actually read it to me. And sometimes I put it on while I'm driving. 